Hey, what's up guys? This video is a tutorial on how to shoot a time lapse using Magic Lantern. I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it. One of them uh, using the intervalometer um, with pictures and the other one is just using a much smaller uh, video frame rate. Before doing this, you're gonna need to install the Magic Lantern software on your camera and SD card. Um, I've, already, I've made a video that shows how to do this. Um, I'll put a link at the bottom here so you can check that out and first install Magic Lantern on your camera. Make sure you install the correct software for your camera. The video I made installing Magic Lantern was made for a T3i, but I'm today using a Canon 6D. So there's different software for different cameras. Make sure you download the right one before doing this. So I'm on my 6D today. I'm, on a, I'm at a pretty cool field uh, near my house. There's just a big, there's just a bunch of tall grass and you know some clouds. It's pretty windy today. You may be able to hear it in the mic here. Um, so we should be able to see some cool movement with those clouds. So the first thing you need to do is um, get your exposure right. I'm gonna fire a test shot here. Um, looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see here on the video, but I'll show you a picture of the picture that I just took. Um, right now I'm at 11 aperture, uh, 1 60th shutter speed and 100 ISO. So once you have all of that down, you need to go into uh, your Magic Lantern menu, which you can always do on pretty much any camera by pressing the trash bin. Um, you need to go over to the, the tab that looks like a camera and down under that tab, there's gonna be an intervalometer option. Click that, press Q for more information so you can customize it. I have my pictures set at um, being taken every five seconds. The higher interval um, between your pictures, the more movement you're gonna see in your video. Start trigger after you leave this menu. So once I leave this menu, it will start taking after 10 seconds. Um, and then the amount of shots here. Uh, I have it set at 250. You can change this to, I think you can, I mean, you can go, you can take a lot of pictures with this. Um, a lot more than you can with the Canon 80D, which I've also done a tutorial on how to shoot time lapses with that. But down at the bottom, if you look, it'll tell you, uh, Magic Lantern will do the math for you and tell you uh, at, you know, 60 frames a second there, it says at the bottom, and at 250 shots, we're gonna get a four second time lapse video. So at 30 frames a second, which is the standard, that's when you're gonna get uh, about an eight second video. So it's kind of cool, it does the math for you, it tells you exactly what you need. Um, but I'm gonna set it at 250 as soon as it leaves this menu. Um, it should start taking those photos. And since I'm already pre-exposed, I should just be able to let this fire off for a little while. And um, I'm actually gonna come back when we're done taking off uh, 250 of those photos. So uh, I'll just kind of skip through that and uh, I'll see you when this is finished taking these photos. All right, so our time-lapse is complete. Um, I don't know if you can see this on here. I'll go to the playback and sort of roll through these images. You should be able to see a little bit of movement in there, just a little preview of sort of how it turned out. Um, I'll show exactly how it turned out when I go through and edit uh, all these pictures and um, I uh, put them all together. Uh, the last video I did on the um, time lapse with the Canon 80D, I gave sort of a workflow of how I edit my photos. And so check that out. There will be uh, a link at the bottom here to um, for, it, for a tutorial video on how to edit your photos and stuff. But, so on to the second way to shoot time lapses. If you don't wanna go through all that photo stuff and you don't wanna edit 250 photos, if you don't wanna go through the whole intervalometer process, if you wanna avoid all that, you can shoot time lapses another way by going into your Magic Lantern to the little movie tab, it's to the left of that little camera tab, um, to frames per second override. I'm gonna press the Q button to go into uh, some more uh, details for it. Um, you can change the frame rate from, you know, usually it could be, you can set it to 24 um, or 25, uh, 30 or 60. Um, but one way you can also do this is to shoot a very low frame rate. So I'm gonna choose three and you can go into all this other stuff to kind of optimize for the lighting and stuff because I think it kind of messes with the lighting when you change the frame rate a little bit. So from here, we're just gonna exit our um, Magic Lantern menu. We're just gonna hit record and you're gonna see it says sound disabled and um, it's just gonna record for a little bit and we're just gonna let it run um, 
and right now it's recording at three frames per second. So if you bring a video that is three frames per second into say a sequence or a timeline that's 30 frames per second, it's kind of hard to explain, but it basically speeds up the video. It's gonna be 30 frames a second, but it's gonna be like sped up sort of. It's kind of hard to explain, but I'll show you kind of what I mean when uh, this video is done. I'm gonna let this record for maybe three minutes or so. And when we play this back, we should see some movement in there, a little bit of flicker. Um, but yeah, so we've got about, it's actually over a 10 second video because I was shooting for, I don't know, maybe two minutes or so. All right, um, so basically, basically that's how um, you can shoot two forms of, of time lapses with the Canon 60 um, using Magic Lantern. If you found this video helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up. Comment below for any tutorials you'd like to see me go through in the future. And uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting out more tutorial videos like this um, every week. But that's it. Thanks.